Yo, 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 what's up? It's Ronald West, and I'm here with Xavier Carnegie, and you're watching Say Word. Add it up. Yesterday, I woke up, and my left arm was hurting. Yeah, this muscle right here. Were you sleeping on it? No. Like, I couldn't turn my hand or anything like that. Anything. I couldn't turn it. So how did you get it working? It's fine now, right? So I Googled this. And if you Google, go ahead and Google this. Find out, like, left arm pain. So that's what I Googled, left arm pain out of nowhere. I was nervous. That means you're having a stroke. That's, they started saying stuff like that, <laughs> stroke, heart attack, and things of that nature. But what it actually was, they say it could be anxiety. Yeah, and I'm like, How does anxiety cause your left arm not to move? Tense. It gets tense. And I'm a, I'm a highly anxious person. So I was like, wow, that, that's probably what it is. This is why they tell you don't go on WebMD trying to diagnose yourself. Now you... Now you didn't self-diagnose as anxiety pain? Is that what you told me? That 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 it seems plausible. It seems plausible. I have a lot of stress. So it seems plausible. It has to be anxiety. I didn't have any injury or anything like that. I'm always working out. There's nothing like I'm gonna lean more. You probably just slept on it, funky. Well, it's fine now. But happy new year, everyone. Um happy new year. Happy Xavier. new well. You know what I mean? We got a couple hours till that. But. Well, I'm saying it now. This is a happy, this is the New Year's episode. So, yeah, New Year's episode. Is it? Sound crazy saying that, but um, you have any New Year's resolutions? <sighs> no. That was like, a bunch of fluff. Like no, like do all the traditional. Uh, you know, I'll eat better, squeeze in some more gym days. You know, be better with my money. <laughs> like all the all the typical stuff. <clears throat> Squeezing some more gym days. Yeah, you yeah. know all the other. I'll try something new. I haven't figured out what it'll be that I'll try new, but I'll figure something out. Yeah, mine's mine's is actually going to be. I didn't have one neither, but then now I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to say word today. What I'm going to say? You know, I can't just come out and just not say anything. Now there's a show. Involved. So now you had to fake something up. Well, no, not really fake nothing. You said fake something up. Just said fake something. No, 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 no. It wasn't really fake nothing up, but. I started to think about, you know what, what am I going to work on? Like, the New Year's is, is a pretty good start for something. You know what I mean? I agree. Forget, forget about the New Year and everything, but it's a good start for something. Mine's just going to be to listen more. Like, I, it sounds crazy, like, really listen more. Because I feel like there's a lot of gems in just sitting back and listening. Huh. That's a, that's a, that's a good one. Seriously, like, people, people get upset. They are yeah. deep and thoughtful. No, no, but people get upset with, like, uh, uh, like, uh, criticism, constructive criticism, all of that stuff. I want to embrace all of it and take it in and just listen. Just listen. Because I, I really feel that um, people are, aren't just making stuff up. Like if somebody has an area or uh, of opportunity for you, I used to hate it. Like all oh, these areas of opportunity, of course. But that's just life. You know what I mean? You always want those things. So I embrace it now and it humbles me and it helps me get better. So you're saying you're just going to take more criticism and just not have rebuttals for those criticism, basically? Yeah, I don't like rebuttal anymore. <laughs> I don't like rebuttal anymore. Because I find too often when I start to explain myself, it's kind of like in business. And I don't like this part of business neither, and I had to get better with it when it comes to negotiating pricing, right? Like, I know that I present myself as a nice guy, right? But when we start talking about money, money's always hard to talk about. But make no mistake, I want to win. I want to win. So now the face gets, yeah, serious. No, I want to win. I want it for this price because this is how much it's worth. That, that stuff to me is scary. I don't like that. I have to turn on a different, a different person. <laughs> so I don't like that. So when it comes time for rebuttal and you tell somebody some, something that's factual, because I like to come from facts. I really don't like too much opinion. A lot of times they get a little worried and it bothers them and, it, and it, you, you become combative. I don't, I don't want none of that. So I just like to just listen now. Just listen. <sighs> And just take in stuff. And it humbles you because sometimes you realize, like, oh, snap. I was nowhere near right in this situation. I don't have that problem. I'm usually right pretty often, though. I'm, usually, I'm, I'm at, like, 87%. I think that's a good percentage. But I dig that. Everybody can listen more. If you're batting 87%, yeah. so if you want to use baseball as a hypothetical. Hey, yo, 85% of baseball is winning. No. If you're batting 87% of baseball, you're the best baseball player ever. This, this, this is, is why I don't need to work on that resolution. So... So if we use baseball, <laughs> mm -mm. so you're probably more wrong. I don't like, and think about it, being right is only, you're only right 
if you are right, you're only right for right now. That's all right. I live in a moment. Good point. I can't even I can't even say nothing about that. But yeah, New Year's resolution is just for me to just do a lot more listening and and less talking. That's a good one. Yeah, I heard something about Jay Z uh, one time. <clears throat> he was in a room, I think, with a bunch of other millionaires, probably, and they were talking about business, and he was the guy doing the least amount of talking, and he's a billionaire, you know. And I found that I found that so cool. I just imagine I imagined it in my head when I heard it, and I was like, wow. You know what? That's a good one. I think you know what, and, and listening to you, you inspired me. So I think I'm gonna work on. Staying more even keel. I can get I can get really aggravated. I have a very short tolerance for just nonsense or stuff I don't agree with. So you know what? Now <laughs> I'm gonna put more of an effort to be a little more tolerant uh, in those situations. It, you know, it's actually cool too. Like, you know, I don't. I guess it was from the way I was brought up because I always feel like I'm doing something wrong anyway. So I'm never 100% sure about any conclusion that I come up with. So when somebody else acts a certain way that I don't agree with, I got to really kind of dig into it. That's why I just want to be quiet because I'm just afraid of being wrong in life because you only, get, you only get one life, right? I dig that. And all the time we're taking risk, right? So the best way for me to take risk in life is for me to get all the information possible. Correct. And you get that by listening. And being quiet. And being quiet. So I said in 2021... I'm gonna be a lot quiet, you know, more more quiet. That. You know, I think okay. that's my thing. Okay. Just listen more. I like that. Yeah. So be quiet. Yeah. So you know, it's like I said, you coming onto the show. I had to feel like, then you know what? It's an obligation now to come up with something. Cause this is like, you know what, man? I don't know about New Year's, yo. I don't do that. You know what I mean? It's like, okay, <laughs> how many videos can we find like that? <laughs> I mean, you have those and a bunch of people making up a bunch of uh, new things that they're not going to stick to. Right. But now that we're thinking about it, could you, could you think of something else? Like uh, listening, and like you said, eating better. You know, that's, that's, a, that's a normal one, eating better. People like to do that, do it for a week and a half. Um, you know, I did say to myself going into 2021, I'm going to be uh, more committal, I guess, uh, to, to a lot of the other little small business things I have going on. Mm. I, can get, I find myself getting sidetracked a lot. I think I'm gonna be a little more disciplined in, in working on those other businesses. And uh, what would you say sidetracks you? <sighs> My doubt, I guess. You know, but like, I'll go back to it. Uh, you know, well, procrastination. How do you handle? How do you handle failure to yourself? Like, if you try something and you fail, how do you feel about that? You know what, honestly. I would probably say, a few, if you would asked me that a few years ago, it, it, I would have said, yo, that really messes with me. But I would say probably over the last year, um, I think I embrace it a lot better. I look for the failures. So at least I can find where I went wrong and how I can improve. Yeah. So I've been doing a little better with that. Well, yeah, yeah. I, I love to fail. And I have a, a, a small story. And it's, it's real simple. And I hate talking about this because I seem like a kid when I say this and so childish. But... I love to play Madden competitively online. Well, I used to love to play it. I don't do it anymore now. Um, I put all the time and effort into this now. But um, I noticed over the years, the more that I lost and the more I learned like the new algorithm and how people like to play and the new plays and what people like to do, the more I was able to combat that. And it made it better. So my record will look terrible, but I'll be a much better player. So what I'm saying is in life, when it comes to like business ventures and stuff like that, if you can lose without it hurting you, like credit score and really damaging you, yo, I'll lose, I'll lose all day long. I will lose all day long because the win becomes so much better because you actually know what you're doing when you win as opposed to just getting lucky and winning. You know, I, I really don't like that. I like to know exactly why I won. You know what I mean? So or it can be repeated. Yeah, man, big time. So that's how you look at business ventures. Yeah, I think... I'm, I... I think that's what scares a lot you. of people is that scare for uh, for failure. Yeah, you're gonna fail. Uh, but I think embracing that is is so much more valuable um, than not trying at all. Yeah, you know what the problem is? I think people are too confident. That may sound crazy. They're too confident. And, and no, no, ignorantly confident though. Explain. Like they don't look at the possibility that they could lose. 
yeah, I'm always aware of the possibility that I could lose. <laughs> you know, I'm always aware that I've always been aware of the possibility that I could lose. Even at the job, I'm always aware of the possibility I can get fired. For some reason, it just keeps me going. Like, even in life, I'm always aware of the possibility I could die. Oh, absolutely. But that keeps me going. Like, it keeps me present. Like, all right, you know, but some people, they go into something like, I got this, I got this, I got this. And then it's like when they get hit with the boom. I wasn't prepared for that. Oh, I love those people. Why? I love to sit back and watch those people. That's not funny. Oh, yes, it is. Because they be so gun ho like, I got this, everybody back up. But you find it funny, but do you remember what it was like to hurt feeling that way? No, because I never put myself out there to look that stupid. That's a tough, that's a tough one. Yeah, it's a lot of those people. I love those. They be so vocal in the front of the line and everything. And then they have all the wrong answers. Yeah, this guy, but still, even those people, they could still bounce back. It's just the failures, so what? Doesn't matter. Keep doing it. Just keep doing it. Even with, like, the videos and everything, right? Putting the videos out. The results, not necessarily the biggest well, the results, this is a result-driven business, this doing this, but it's not the biggest driver for me right now. It's about the repetitive, like keep, keeping it going, keep being consistent, you know, being consistent, coming up with good content. That's more important than looking at the results. You know, I, I mean, I think that's easy to say when you have a vision of the destination. And I mean, when, you, when you're in for the long haul and you, and, and you know what you want and what it takes to get there, you, you're, you're ready for the process. Everyone's not ready for the process, or they don't have that that destination vision. That's a good point. That's a good point. I think they do have the destination vision, but like a plane ticket, sometimes the destination is costs a lot more money than they thought, <sighs> and that that's all the work you got to put in. And I think that's the crazy thing. People don't want the work. That's the part that's underestimated. I mean, when they look at something and they and they, hey, I want that. They're just looking at the finished product. Right. They don't know all those funky days that it took to get to that's in between. That's the part they don't sign up for. That's right. the part they don't be ready for. And I don't, I, don't, I don't see people failing enough. I failed a lot. You know what's crazy? <laughs> no, no, let me tell you. Let me tell you. In high school, right? And I remember this. Oh, my God, this is crazy. But I think I got cut from every team I tried out for, except for baseball. Like, I guess... And they say baseball, you got to be a pretty good athlete for baseball, right? That's what they say. <laughs> That's why they didn't play any other sports. Right. But dig this. <laughs> dig this. But I had a pretty pretty standard athleticism. You know what I mean? Okay. I was good at fighting. Put it that way, right? But I only got one chance to make the team. <laughs> what, I've noticed, what I've noticed about myself in life, I need like five or six chances. Then I'll start kicking ass. Then it's like, oh, snap. I got to learn the algorithm. Okay. I got to learn what you're looking for first. That's why I do this show. That's why I'm able to put these things out there because I want to see what the consumer's looking for. And then I'm going to give you that. I'm going to give you what you're looking for. See, I didn't know what the coaches were looking for. I was trying out. It, you, can, you can ask people. I was trying out on a basketball team. I was doing like behind the back <laughs> passes. <laughs> Every you tell me that story. You know, I'm doing layup lines, doing the Iverson crossover. Yo, dude, I remember one time. Son, that's and, not what we're doing right now. Right, right. It's like, what, what, what are you doing? That, that was me. He said that was me. behind the back pass. Yeah, that's, that's ridiculous. So I know what it's like to fail. I've been failing my whole life. It wasn't like I wasn't good. Look, the thing is, and that's the crazy thing, is all my failures, none of them ever said that, damn, Ronald, you're not good. It was more like, damn, Ronald, why'd you try that move, me? Like... That was like some ridiculous like, move. Why would you do that? But now if you catch the move one time, oh, you were phenomenal. You were awesome. supposed to get, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so I was guy. always going for special moves, man. Hey, yo, you're yeah. an idiot. So to me, uh, trying for a business venture, that's nothing. That's easy. Yeah. That's why, and that's the crazy thing is, that's why I don't like to keep so much, too many close acquaintances. Because I don't want to live up to anybody's, you know, standard. Because I don't want to tell you right out the way, right off the back, right? This may sound crazy. I have confidence, but what I'm about to say is, I don't want to tell you, like, yo, dude, I'm a freaking loser. Like, I try shit and I lose all the time. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Like, he I don't even know why you want to be cool with me. Yeah, I take L's all the time. <laughs> it's so cool to take them, right? Because when you win, it's like, it's a different type of winning. It's like you're winning, like. I, 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 I don't disagree. I think once I started embracing looking for ways to fail, and I don't mean like intentionally trying to fail, but I mean doing different things. And, and not being hesitant to take new chances, um, you find a, it's weird, you find a, a love for the failure. 
Like, why didn't this work? Right. All right, so now you get to go back in the lab, make adjustments, and then jump all over again. That's it. That's it. And then when you reach the next level, you're going to lose at that level. <laughs> you're going to be the worst at that level. Start all over That's again. how it happens. Once you get to the next level, you're the worst at that level. And then now you got to move up to the next level. Then you're the worst at that level. That's just how it goes. That's a good way so to look at it. So people looking for the paradise of sitting back and this, ah, oh, I made a lot of money. I can just relax and chill. It doesn't even work that way. <laughs> That's the vision. It doesn't even work that way. Like, they think the more money they make, the less responsibility. The less they're working for. Right. Ooh. Okay, guys, that's it for today. If you like what you watch, please hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to get to 60 subscribers. I know that sounds crazy, but please help me out. Hit the subscribe button. Happy New Year. My name is Ronald. This is Xavier. Say word. Peace. Peace. Add it up.